number one daddy, Kiara's daddy, TJ's daddy, Kaylee's daddy. If you don't have a daddy, your daddy, swag daddy. <coughs> I want y'all to get a real good look at this picture right here. My daughter, she loves yellow. I like yellow. It's, it's like one of my favorite colors, yellow, black, green. They're all my favorite colors, but I want you to look at this, what she has on. It's a, it's a hoodie, right? Now, take a look at this right here. I don't know if you can see this or not, and, and I got a real bad angle of this, but my car says it's 118 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, now my car's being a little extra right now. It's not really 115 degrees, 118 degrees Fahrenheit. It's probably like about 90 something with the heat index of like about 105, but <laughs> she's wearing a hoodie. What do you have to say about yourself, man? I like this hoodie. I saw it and I was like, I don't wear it enough and it's a new hoodie. So I put it on because I figured it was going to be cold in the mall. It's not because I'm always cold. Because we're not going to be spending all of our time outside. We walk outside in 100 plus degree weather. She has a hoodie on. Because she didn't want to be cold inside the mall. Are we in the mall? No. Now, I was going to troll her outside, but it was just so hot, I couldn't abuse my child. But she kept saying that she was real hot, but I'm like, bro, come on. I mean, I mean, y'all, this is this is the child that for an entire school year wore the same galaxy sweater. Like she was a cartoon character. I mean, you reap what you sow, y'all. I used to always talk about Fred Flintstone and his caveman dress that he wore every single episode. For years on end, but this child of mine is smart. This is my buddy smart. <laughs> but she has no sense. <laughs> Common sense, it is. Fred Flintstone was in the, Fred was in the cave band days, so we didn't really have any other laundry to wear. Okay, what about all the other, what about all the cartoon characters? <laughs> they wear the same clothes every single day. SpongeBob has to wear his because. He um he has he it's his uniform for work. You know, they all have reasons. Um Jimmy Jimmy Neutron has his school maybe that's a school uniform, you know, I don't know. Alright guys, um this is what I have to deal with, but right now it's not a daddy's date. I'm spending time with my daughter. It's the day before school we're starting back tomorrow, so we're gonna do some shopping. Uh, I hate to shop, but <laughs> but I love my daughter, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this happen for her. She only has a limited time, thank God. School is in the morning. Because at first she wanted to keep me there until the mall closes, which is nine o'clock. And we're not doing that. <laughs> is um in the house again because he forgot his clothes to bring to the dry cleaners so i just thought i would start recording i'm um gonna return this thing that i got i don't know why i got it i got it for no reason it's this yellow bunny ears <laughs> and she's recording some stuff yo what did she say about me was she talking about me no please comment in the comment section below and what? let me know what she said about me. You're going to see it when you edit. They don't, you, you know you mentioned the actual... Oh, you can cut that out since you're going to edit it later. I was going to teach you how to edit. I wasn't going to watch it. I wanted oh. to be surprised. This is the same <laughs> child that on Rainy Day Dreamers... I don't know. Listen. Rainy no, Day Dreamers, if you guys are watching no, this, no. about five years ago or so, <laughs> a little girl sent you guys an actual that was five package. Years. With a whole bunch of crappy drawn pictures up in there that she said was crappy herself. <laughs> Baby, you do a good job drawing. <laughs> but she blasted me on international television. YouTube is international. It's not, it's, the, it's not local. It's not national. It's international. Who's it from? It's from Kiera in... Texas. Texas. Okay. Lots okay. of stuff. Oh my goodness. Dear Rainy Day Dreamer slash Epic Review guys. Hi, I'm Kiera. 
one of your viewers living in Houston. Houston, okay. I'm like your biggest fan ever! Exclamation point. Um, I'm only nine, but I use my mom's email instead of mine to subscribe to your videos so she knows what I'm doing. Nice. I love your dog, Pierre. Can you show him on the video? I used to have a dog named Bentley. Oh. Then my dad lost him. My dad also got me a tablet and told me to be careful with it. Then he broke the charger and cracked the screen. Anyway, this is not a good day for dad. Bye. <clears throat> Your viewer, Kiera. She said, I bought her an iPad. It was like an actual tablet, which I did do. I told her not to break it, which I did say. But then I dropped it while I was sitting on the toilet. Because you did. Told everybody in the country, <laughs> in the world, that I was on the toilet. I forgot the entire... I wrote the letter. That I was on the toilet. Taking the crap. I wrote... And I broke her tablet while I was on the toilet. I I'm the one. I'm the one ready to dream with. And y'all look like, oh my God, this guy's a terrible father. But... This is this, this this is my this, this this is my redemption. I am a great father. Anyway, this is not a good day for dad. <laughs> I bought her an iPad after that, and whatever she wants, taking the shopping. I did break the tablet, y'all. I, really <laughs> I wrote that such a long time before they actually got to it, because they had so much mail to read that I forgot entirely about that. I just remembered that I sent them some pictures, and that was it. I remember everything, y'all. I'm watching YouTube. Boy, you I'm just like, oh my god. You said it was five I was or just so, so years ago. I, I was just so embarrassed, y'all. It, it, it just hurt my feelings. They probably forgot about it too. Five or so years ago. I didn't ago. forget. Okay. Sometimes you let things go, y'all. I'm trying to let go. You but. should. Anyway. This is not a good day for dad. Because that was five or so years ago. I was in first grade. It felt like yesterday. Dads, moms. How many of you guys have teenage children that it seems like it was just yesterday that they were born? This is 13 years, and it seems like yesterday she was just born. I remember the first day she was born, but now she expect me to forget five years ago? That's like five minutes ago in my head, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and roll. We got these get started, y'all. I'm, I'm, burning, I'm burning battery. I'm burning time. I'm burning memory. So we need the day going right now. I gotta take baby girl to the gym. I gotta do some shopping. Cause we're still in the driveway right now. We're still in the driveway. We left, but I had to come back home to get my clothes up to clean. I mean, to get my clothes up to clean. So, clean. So, so, um, y'all stay tuned. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Protein, protein chips. Remember that video? Oh my gosh, yes. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. My best dream. Yes, this is Kira. Oh my gosh. Is that signifying meeting us? I think so. Are you thinking this is her sleeping? Yes. Oh, Pierre, you're not in the picture. Oh my, he's upset. <laughs> <laughs> well then, who's the other person on the end? Oh, that's her. She's dreaming of meeting us, I see. Ah. Okay. Pierre Good says night. he'll forgive you for a large, Good large night. piece of chicken. <laughs> large chicken delight dinner. Okay. Thank you. That was very nice. Here's a poster of Jimena. She can color it in herself. Jimena, it's you. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Here's a picture of Roxana to color. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. The Academy. We're in the parking lot right now. Um, I'd show you the thing, the storefront, but we can do that later. Well, we can turn it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're about to get out and go in Academy and look for a backpack since I start school tomorrow and I still don't have a backpack. We have to buy her a special backpack because this child, <laughs> she has what, six classes? I have seven. She has seven classes and she has 14 books in her backpack. She's not getting a locker because at her school you have to request a locker. And it makes no sense, she feels, for her to get a locker because <laughs> she's going to basically wear her locker. So right now, we're going to Academy to buy her a durable locker for her back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, you can listen. You guys stay tuned, man. I'll be right back with you.
And uh, we're going to try to swing you some shots today and then go to our next adventure. And the dreaded shopper. That I love to do with my door. <laughs> The other day. Uh, get a shot. You don't get a shot of <laughs> me walking around in a yellow hoodie in summer yeah. in Texas. 550 degrees outside. <laughs> this shot has a hoodie on. It's probably just like 98. With 100% humidity. Feels like 198 degrees outside. But Men don't ask for directions to help. Yeah, I don't want to ask for directions to help you. Are you a man? Oh my god, Kira. No, do, 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 do we have to have a talk? <laughs> I do see some backpacks over there. Alright. She only has 60 bucks to spend, guys, so she's trying to find the cheapest, most durable backpack that she can find that she likes. <laughs> These didn't look too durable though. We went from the backpacks to the Maybe. rain shoes. Maybe it's not gonna work. Oh my god. <laughs> I hold your pencil box. <laughs> And 30 bucks. It's Dickies. We got to make the stress test. I don't know if that would actually last. But, um, I don't know if it's a stress test. The stress test, the stress of having all that weight in your back and your shoulders, man. You got to just really imagine 50 books being in that backpack. Will it tear up? <laughs> Yeah, I have determined I'm going to carry a rucksack. We're going to go to the Army Thrift Store and buy a rucksack because that's the only thing that would actually be able to maintain and support all the weight that she carries throughout the school year. And then the abuse when she comes home is stored in the ground. Well, that's because I need to go to the ground. <laughs> I'm pulling at it and it doesn't seem, it seems. Oh, oh hold on. Let me put, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Tug of pull, pull, tug of wood. <laughs> that's not gonna hold. That's, that's, that's cheap. That ain't gonna hold, man. Hey, so, so, like, so, like, so far, guys, we're looking at the pseudo night backpack because there's no actual night on it, but you see, like, like you, know, you see the check mark. <laughs> I can tell well, that one is definitely less durable. That's so, the type of backpack that would break on me in a month. That's right. So, we're trying to figure out which one's gonna last my daughter's abuse. <laughs> And her weight training. We had a Nike backpack. I think the straps on this is are like a little wider than the dick. If we get like a close up of that, you can see that these straps are wider, but then this strap. That's a whole lot smaller. So my my theory, comment if I'm wrong at the bottom, but my theory is is that the, the thinner these straps are, the more likely they're gonna tear at the seams as it done in time pass. The straps are the main part, the back that break. Like on both of my backpacks last year, the straps broke. But guys, listen, she likes the design of the Dickies backpack better than the design of the Nike backpack, which he's okay with both of them. Which one do you guys think she should have? Comment below. Hit the subscribe button. The like button too. My heart says this one, but my mind says this one because it's the more reasonable choice. But which one do you, do you really, 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 really want? Now I told her guys that on House Hunters, HGTV, they usually choose between three different houses. She only has two different houses right here. She needs to find one more house. <laughs> so you wanna go with just 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 these two? I feel like if mommy sees this, what she'll be like, what was the point of beginning with an expensive backpack if it's not gonna carry anything? I could also do either. Which one has more room up in it? This one looks like it could have more room. Let's stretch this one because out. you got to also consider that too, because you carry a lot of things. This one feels. This one seems like it has less room than the other one, which is another thing. Okay. And so, even though the, even, even though the Dickies is cuter to you, now Nike's is more name brand than Dickies, so you'd be more trendy and um, 
fashionable with the, I could, with the Nike, I could but... I live with this one. We can put this one back. All I right. think I made my decision. The decision has been made, people. So I think we can leave Academy right now. We, we're well within budget. She wanted to spend like about 40 bucks. That one's on sale for $29.99. You see it, folks? Academy Sports and Outdoors saves us $10 and one cent. <laughs> I feel like we won right now. <laughs> okay. All right. And we, and we didn't spend too, too long here. So I thought we were going to spend like an hour going through backpacks. We, we spent did. about 10 minutes more than what Daddy would have spent. <laughs> oh, they came in. I saw one backpack. This is work. Let's go. Bam. We would have been in the ball already if it was me. So for her, for her time, miss miss one hour in Forever Twenty One. Being in Forever Twenty One forever. <laughs> so this is very 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 record time, record record pace for her right now. This is good. Why to getting this good? Time to go check out. I promise her we won't record this, but this was twenty seven oh five and not thirty bucks. We saved an extra six dollars. <laughs> Even the cashier is happy. I'm very proud of you, Kira. Are you vlogging? We are. We are. see. Even she know a blog. I don't. I don't even know what blogging is, man. But she knows what blogging is. I'm 40 years old. With a cracked Samsung Galaxy phone. Thanks. Thank Have you. a good day. <laughs> Locally in Houston, a Chinese restaurant was shut down because the health inspector caught them boiling rats and feeding the people their food, man. It, guys, listen. I love you Asians, man. But stop feeding rats and dogs, man. Come on, man. I mean, seriously, bro. We had to say my neck here. You had to say seriously, bro. <laughs> awesome. I'm trying to appeal to the youth. I mean, Panda Express probably doesn't need that. Probably. probably. <laughs> I haven't been to Panda, Panda Express. Panda Express. They're cooking Panda Bears fast. Well, are it, Panda Bears going extinct or something? I don't know. Yeah, they're eating them here. We're eating Panda Express cooking them. No. <laughs> they do eat. They tell me what they're feeding. Also, I've only been to <laughs> Panda Express like once ever that I remember. I don't even remember it. Yeah, you need microwave panda, man. Panda Express. I don't think we eat microwave panda. Microwave panda, man. They, they, they call it Panda Express. You eating all the panda bears, man. You got billions of people in China eating all the pandas. Now the panda's going extinct, man. Why would you want to eat a panda? Because they're Chinese. <laughs> I'm not prejudiced, guys. Do you eat <laughs> Just a little bit. My favorite animals are actually red pandas, but those are going extinct too. Yeah, I've, so how you know how they taste? I mean, you can panda express how? I mean, no. I like red grouper. Red pandas, man. <laughs> red pandas are cute. I don't know how to describe them, though. Are they I, chewy? No. no. So, so say, I've never... You say it's like chicken. <laughs> I wouldn't even eat alligator. Oh, you had alligator before you get the baby. I fed it to you at uh, Cajun oh. Town. That wasn't my choice, though. No, I, I, I'm just not feed it to you, but oh. alligator is chewy. It's like a chewy chicken. Someone, yeah, my music teacher told me that it tasted like chicken in like fourth grade. It's just like chewy chicken. That's that's one of the few things that people say that tastes like chicken. It actually tastes like chicken, but it is a whole lot more chewy. You can tell that it's not typical meat. All right, guys, we're here at the mall right now. We're Willowbrook Mall, so stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and uh, pause this video, go in and watch Kira shop for about 10 hours. We have to pull up out of there, but here we go. Forever 21, the very first store. We're going to walk right into the store, go right into this store right here as soon as we get into the mall and be in there forever. I 
I just want to look. I, I only want to look around a little bit just to see if they have some shoes that I want. We're going to be in there forever. Into 2100 hours, 9 o'clock when the mall closes. And they had to force us up out of there, guys. 2100 hours, 9 o'clock, military time. This mall. Things that people are doing for. Let y'all talk me into this, man. So, so, so. I'm following this time. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it is it is burning. I can I like let me let me shot. let me slow down. I don't, I don't have a sweater on. <laughs> I like shot, shot till I drop. I like shot, shot till I drop. I like shot. It is hotter than fish grease, bro. And this child of mine has a hoodie on. And she has long hair, but has a boatload of weave in her head. <laughs> I know she's hot. <laughs> Kira's trying to walk away fast from me because she's embarrassed that I'm vlogging her life. She's a more behind the scenes type of character. She's been like tremendously embarrassed all in Academy. And she's trying to leave me right now. <laughs> but it's not working. Now what she don't realize is that she has a bag to return something but she's still in the side of the store shopping with the bag in her hand and so they're gonna think that she's actually stealing things and putting them inside the bag. And she had a big hoodie on and 100 degrees outside with a hoodie on looking like a thug in the store with a bag. Is she shoplifting? Okay, come on, let's go return this thing. <laughs> like I don't sell, man, but she paid like at least a thousand dollars for that, huh? So Forever 21 was a failure. They wouldn't take back her silly thing that she bought. That she has to walk around with that she regrets buying now. Forever 21 sucks. Walmart takes everything back. Forever 21, not so. <laughs> so this is Asian now. And Kira's running for me because I'm really embarrassing her with the camera. She's vlogging. <laughs> I enjoy embarrassing her. I'm having a good old time shopping. And I said that I felt very old inside Forever 21. Her response was, because it's Forever 21, not Forever 41. I'm only 40. See how she do me, guys? It's so sweet when they're young, but. Oh. I can't remember. And then she says that Michael Kors is old woman fashion. I did not say that. You were the one who said that. Mom, you heard that right. Your daughter thinks you're an old woman. Rubber band, what happened? You had your hand inside the toilet. What? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> so hold the time out. Did you poop the rubber band out? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We left H&M, H&M, whatever you call that store. I'm blindly walking around and it's probably yeah. not the best. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're going. She don't know where we're going. She don't know what she want. She's I just right having a good time. I don't know what I want. I just don't know what to do. Okay, well, I'm going to stop this video until we find out where we're going. So, I'm back again. Now we're going to lunch for her face mask. She has to be cute for the first day of school, which is very uncomfortable for daddy. But, you know, you gotta let go at some point. 
Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and she's very, very, extremely embarrassed right now because I'm walking around with the camera while she's looking for a face mask. A refrigerated face mask. <laughs> so what is this? It says used by September 2nd. So is that a dairy product? Um, what's the cooking ingredients? There's kind on top, fresh organic. I don't know. I know there's honey in it. I know there's raspberry. I know there's soap and tofu. So I can go to the actual, I can go to the produce section inside H-E-B <laughs> and buy some fruit and some vegetables and smush them up and put them in your face. Right, you could not do that. Well, oh, that's what they're doing. Okay, y'all, so she <laughs> finally, she finally found the boost that she wanted. And now, listen, don't tell her mom, but <laughs> it's about 15 bucks more than our budget for the day. But I was going to spend at least 10 bucks on Cinnabon, so this is about Cinnabon money right here. But she found her boots. We found some more expensive, durable looking boots that were, that were Billabong. She didn't want those. She won Forever 21. I was going to let her get it because it was more expensive. They're going to last her longer. When Jesse Penney's they had some decent boots, but she didn't want them because they had, they had like little bling blings on them. And so she wants to buy Forever 21 combat boots. I think she want to stump people in school this year. I was going to say something I was going to embarrass her. I'm not going to say it. Inside joke for myself, but we got the boots, y'all, so we're going to get ready to go ahead and get up out of here. Anything you want to add, Miss Key, for your day? Um, no, I'm very satisfied with the outcome. We did go visit a couple of others, a lot of other stores. But, you know, these were the type of shoes that I wanted. And I got it for a relatively good price, so. Yeah, you know, I actually enjoyed myself, too, man, even though I hate shopping. I was actually the one having a good time, and she was the one complaining, man. She's tired of walking, and we've been to 50 different stores. I was like, man, we're taking the best price we can get, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to come back to 21 again, even though they wouldn't take her thing back. And we spent money with these fools again. It's still in my pocket. And it's still in her pocket. And it matches her sweater. And it's 110 degrees outside. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Your left, your left, your left, right, echo. Your left, right, echo. One, two, three, four, rock. Drill sergeant, rock. Oh yeah, you gotta roll. Drill sergeant, roll. They say that in the army, the child is mighty fine. Who said that? They say that in the army, the child is mighty fine. A biscuit rolled off the table and killed a friend of mine. A biscuit rolled off the table and killed a friend of mine. Oh, Lord, I want to go. Oh, Lord, I want to go. But they won't let me go. But 